Hey, what's up, guys? So today we'll be talking about how we can use the program Throttle Stop to undervolt your CPU. This method will currently work for the Intel i7-9750H and also the Intel i7-8750H. All right, so at this time, I'm just going to open up the heavy load application to stress test utility. So when I run it, I'm currently getting 97 degrees Celsius, 97, 98 under full load. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is going to go to Google. We're going to type in core temp. Going to go to our official website. Click download. And you just run the installer. And then when it's installed, you should have this little window like right over here. And then you'll see you have all the cores depending on how many cores you guys have in your system. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to go to the options and we're going to hit settings. Make sure that start core temp with windows is checked. You go to the display tab. You want to select start core temp minimize and close core temp to notification area. You want to make sure under here you select the highest temperature per processor. And this is totally up to you guys, but I like to set mine at 9. I like to change my color to light blue and make it easier to see. Now you just hit apply. And that's it. Even if you close this out, it'll still be running in the background and it'll be in the notification tray. So now that we have something to record our temperature with, now we're going to go over here, going to go to Google, and we're going to type in throttle stop. Just hit download. And then when you open it up, you're going to have all these files. You can just select them all, hit copy. And for this video, I'm just going to put it on the desktop just to make it easier. So I'm going to just rename a folder to whatever you guys like. It don't matter. You can place this anywhere on your computer as you wish. You go into the folder, and then you're going to paste all the contents into there. Okay. So now we're going to open Throttle Stop up. And the first time you get this, uh, the first time you run this application, you're going to get this... Uh, you get this like warning. You just make sure you hit OK. Hit OK. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check this speed shift EPP. It's going to be set at 128. You're just going to highlight it, put in 0. You want to make sure that you uncheck BD Pro Chop. Make sure you hit the save. And then you're going to go to this setting right over here called FIVR. Select that, it's going to open up this menu. Then we're going to go over to here to the first core and we're going to lower it to 34. And you'll see when you lower this, it's going to lower all those cores at the same time. That's okay. Then you want to select this right here. Make sure that you hit OK, save voltages immediately. And you're going to hit apply. So now you're going to be under the CPU core right here. You're going to make sure you check this box right here. It's going to unlock these settings over here. And then you're going to check the 250. The safe bet, if you guys want to go the safer route to make sure that this will work 100%, I would go. I would stick with 125. Um, I'm currently comfortable for my system. Everybody's system is going to be different. I set mine to 145. So I'm going to hit apply. Unlock. And set this one for the same thing as well. I'm going to set that at 145. And then you're going to hit OK. Then you're going to go to this check mark right here, TPL. You're going to hit that. It's going to open up a new window. You're going to change these two settings. You're going to change them to 24. This one's going to be 28. 
And then you want to go down here under miscellaneous, you're going to go into the max setting. And you're going to change that to 34. And you're going to hit apply. Okay, uh, that's it. Um, that's all you have to do. So um, also as well, you want to go into options over here. Um, start minimize and minimize on close. All right. Cool. So now we're going to run the benchmark again. And we're going to see where we're at with that. And as you guys can see, I'm only at 63 uh, degrees Celsius right now. So that was literally a little bit more than 30 Celsius. And that is all. All right. So if we want to make sure that throttle stop turns on when the computer turns on we're going to go into the window search we're going to type in test scheduler right here and then you're going to come over here to create basic task All right you can rename this to anything you want for this I'm going to do throttle stop hit next you're going to check when I log on Select next, start a program, select next, and then you're going to hit browse. You're going to look for the folder where you installed throttle stop at and just uh, select the application itself. Double click that, hit next. Okay, and then you're going to come up to this final window. You want to make sure that you check this button. And then you hit finish. All right, so we come up to the generals tab. You're going to check mark run with highest privileges. You're going to go triggers, there's nothing there. Actions, nothing there. Conditions. So you want to disable these two check marks right here under power. Okay. Then you're going to go to your settings. Keep that on. Disable these two right here. And that is all. And then you just hit OK. And now throttle stop will run every time you log into Windows. So this is a uh, first video I've ever made. So if you guys can give me back some feedback, um, anything concerns, just leave it all in the comments, give it a like and uh, have a good one guys. Peace.